A Suffolk police officer faced his misconduct hearing this week after he was found to have stolen a deceased man's wallet, bank card, £230 in cash, a passport and a Samsung mobile phone from Mildon Hall Police Station on August the 8th, 2020. 47 year old Jonathan Waller was identified during the investigation after the deceased man's personal effects were to be prepared for collection by his next of kin. Police searched the evidence locker after the next of kin requested the property, but they couldn't be found. A search of the storeroom, station and lockers was said to have taken place, but again the items could not be located. Suffolk Police then referred the matter to their Professional Standards Department, who analysed the stolen phone's data to provide a location. The data showed the device was online travelling in a direction that matched the direction and time of travel of Waller after P Professional Standards Department analysed his own personal phone. Waller was then arrested, but none of the items were found following a search of his home. A victim impact statement which was read to the hearing by Andrew Waters for Suffolk Police said the deceased man's sister couldn't believe it when she was told his belongings had been stolen and that the money would have gone to her brother's funeral costs and that her trust in the police has gone down. Of course, Waller's excuse was that he was in financial difficulties, no doubt impacting on his mental health, and that there was allegedly evidence on the day he stole the money that he had looked up financial support for police officers. Waller had been suspended from duties throughout the investigation, but had been a serving constable for some 19 years. The panel decided that the only outcome could be for Waller to have been dismissed and placed on the police barred list. Suffolk Police said in a statement that a criminal investigation was carried out, but following consultation with the Crown Prosecution Service, the case was not found to meet the threshold for prosecution. Now, I'm guessing it's because they couldn't find the items, but I do ask myself, where does the CCTV of the evidence locker? Because you can bet your ass there is CCTV of that area. Or is this yet again another last little courtesy from Waller from his police friends? Detective Chief Inspector James Brown, not that one, of Norfolk and Suffolk Professional Word Salad Department said this was a despicable act carried out by someone whose duty was to uphold the law. PC Waller breached the trust that was placed in him and we are disgusted by what he has done. Decisive action was taken once it became apparent the effects and cash were missing. What makes this worse is that PC Waller was a police officer and that the theft happened in a police station. Sure it's not the first or the last time that'll ever happen. The police rightly need to see transparency in misconduct hearings such as this. Jonathan Waller has let himself, his fellow officers and the constabulary down in the worst way possible. There is no place in Suffolk constabulary or policing for those who commit such acts. The vast majority of our officers uphold the high standards of personal and professional behaviour expected of them and work hard each day to keep Suffolk's communities safe. Where these standards are not met, we will always look to take action, if we can't sweep it under the carpet. I would like to thank the Constabulary's Anti-Corruption Unit, who are probably corrupt themselves, uh, sorry, who have led this investigation and recognised the efforts they put in as a team for the outcome to have been reached. It's, it, it's a crying shame that the despicable shite hasn't been criminally charged, but I guess knowing he can't work in law enforcement again is maybe some comfort to the family, although not much I suspect, seeing as this so-called police constable defiled the trust of a grieving family. Sick bastard. Big thank you to channel supporters, especially these guys. Your support is truly appreciated. Don't forget to like, share, comment and subscribe. Let me know your thoughts as I know many of you will. And until next time, stay safe, look after each other, film the police and other officials.